Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Welcome to the month of love. This is my first romance of February and can you believe it? This will be my first Audrey Hepburn movie on the channel. And not only that, it'll be the first Audrey Hepburn movie that I have ever seen. I know that is for shame and I'm not sure why I, I know her name. Um, I know she's like an icon of Hollywood and I can picture her little adorable face and you know, I've seen the Breakfast at Tiffany's costumes and all of that. So I'm so excited to see her in real life, but in the movie, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know anything about this other than they're on a moped on the cover and the Audrey Hepburn's in it. And <laughs> I actually just kind of assumed it was a love February movie. So I hope I'm right on that. We've got some fun stuff planned for February, some more chick flicks, lots of Cassie pics, just worked out that way. Um, as well as a couple of movies for Black History Month. So it's uh, a good mix, some poll winners. We just had a our first James Bond poll and the winner was, I can't remember the winner, but I know that the second and third were only one vote apart. I'll probably watch all three. Um, Sean Connery, so why not? Okay, uh, I hope you guys are having a good week. Gotta do the thing. Patreon, subscribe, like. Here's uh, the best kiss ever for February. Okay, me and Audrey and the movies, let's go. Wait, is this gonna be in black and white? Audrey Hepburn. Oh, it's her first movie. It says, and introducing Audrey Hepburn. It is black and white. Hey Google, what year did Roman Holiday come out? In the United States of America, Roman Holiday came out on September 2nd, 1953. People also ask me, how old was Audrey Hepburn when she was in Roman Holiday? Wanna hear the answer? Sure. It's okay, Google. It's okay. You tried. On the website nationaltoday.com, they say when Hepburn was 24 years old, she starred in her first major U.S. film, Roman Holiday, for which she 24. won her first Academy Award a year wow. later. Wow. Special coverage of Princess Anne's visit to London. She gets a royal welcome from the British. That's, that's her, right? She's a queen? Her royal highness dedicated the new international mm. aid building. Backwards wave. Western I'm European loving mission. this. <laughs> it is very chic. Guys, I love a princess story. Sua Altezza Reale, her royal highness. Oh, this is a scene where I wish it was in color. Wow. She does look like an actual princess. Monsignor Altomonte. Grazie della bontà di vostra Altezza Reale. Good evening, Sir Hugo. Good evening, Your Royal Highness. Oh. Good Abend. Prince Ist. Oh. How do you do? Let the poor girl sit. Good Abend. There's so I many still. Harak Singh. Good evening. How do you do? Why are they acting like this is the biggest deal of all time? Very smooth. I hate all my nightgowns. I hate all my underwear too. I have lovely things. I'm not 200 years old. Why can't I sleep in pajamas? Just the top part. <gasps> Did you know there are people who sleep with nothing on at all? I rejoice to say that I did not. Listen. Please put on your slippers and come away from the window. Your milk and crackers. The thing we do is so wholesome. <laughs> Nine o'clock, we leave for the Polinari Automotive Works, rent it with a small car, which you will not accept. 10.35, inspection of food and agriculture organization, rent you with an olive tree, which you will accept. 10.55, the new foundling home for orphans. Same speech as last Monday. 
11.45 conference here with the press. One o'clock sharp, lunch with the foreign ministry, and carry a bouquet of very small pink roses. Mm. International... Oh! No! Good day, no! no! It's all right, dear, it didn't spill. Oh, my dear, you're ill. Please let me die in peace. You're not dying. Leave me. It's nerves. Control yourself, Anne. Your Highness. Is this her mom or just her, like, chambermaid? I think she's just very sick of... She just needs a holiday. <gasps> a Roman holiday. Don't worry, Doctor. I'll be calm and relaxed. I'll, I'll bow and I'll smile. And I will. There she goes again. No, Give no, her no. something, Doctor, please. Oh, please. <gasps> she's just... Just having feelings, maybe we don't... This will relax you and make your highness feel a little happy. There. Yeah. I don't feel any different. It may take a little time to take hold. Can I keep just one light on? Best thing I know is to do exactly what you wish for a while. That's exactly right. Oh, the general, Dr. Quick. I'm perfectly all right. Good night, ma'am. Good night, doctor. Oh, man, that looks like a comfy bed. Okay, so she's a princess in England, but she's here in Italy to improve trade relations. Oh no. Oh no. She needs to sleep. I'm very worried about her sleeping. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't... Uh, Wizard of Oz came out in 1939, and it was so amazing that it was in Technicolor. So if this came out in 53, was this a uh, creative choice to have it in black and white? Or was it just like too expensive to have it the other way? Just curious. Princess break. <gasps> Freedom! Not these guys' bedtime. <sighs> no, I'm gonna yawn. <gasps> Bet 500. 500. How many? Three. 500 and uh, raise a thousand. Dollars? A nervous strain. Oh, you fool. Six thousand five hundred. Damn, not bad. That's. I gotta get up early. Date with her royal highness, who will graciously pose for some pictures. Personal invitation says eleven forty-five. This is my last five thousand, and you hyenas are not gonna get it. Thanks a lot, Irving. Yeah, see you at Annie's little party in the morning. Are these people in Italy? They seem American. So happy. <laughs> hey, wake up. No, thank you, John. Oh, she's on the drugs, the new drugs. So do we, people won't recognize her, we think? I think you better sit up. Much too young to get picked up by the police. You know, people who can't handle liquor shouldn't drink it. If I were dead and buried and I heard your voice, <laughs> beneath the sod my heart of dust, still rejoice. Do you know that poem? Huh. What do you know? Well dressed, snoozing away in a public street. Care to make a statement? He's handsome. He's very handsome. Let's just have some coffee. You'll be all right. Look, you take the cab. Come on. Climb in the cab and go home. I'll drop you off. Come on. Where do you live? Coliseum. Oh, come on. You're not that drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk at all. Very happy. Hey, now don't go to sleep again. Okay. Look, now, where do you want to go? Where do you, where do you, where do you live? Come on. Where do you live? Oh. Come on, where do you live? Careful. Coliseum. She lives in the Coliseum. It's wrong address. Yes, Via Marguta, 51, 51. Cinque Mille. Take her wherever she wants to go. Uh -huh. Good night. Uh, let's not leave her with a stranger. Yeah. No, no, no. All right, all right. No, no. Taxi, no sleep. <laughs> I never see her before. Police. Maybe she won't, girl. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Up, Manny. Up, Manny. Oh. Oh, good. She's walking.
<laughs> is this the elevator? It's my room. Dizziness is getting worse. Can I sleep here? It's a general idea. Can I have a silk nightgown with rosebuds on it? I'm afraid you'll have to rough it tonight. Good job. But I haven't worn a nightgown in years. Immediately like him. There you are. You can handle the rest. So he's some kind of person to meet with the princess tomorrow. I'm trying to remember. I don't seem to mind. You better get to sleep on this one. Oh, terribly nice. Then you do your sleeping on the couch, see? Not on the bed. You know my favorite poem. Uh, you already recited that. Arethusa rose from her couch of snows. Shelley, I'll be back in about ten minutes. Keats. The castle is going to lose it when they realize she's gone. Is this like the original, like, there's a few movies, right? Where royalty, like, escapes and goes to live a normal life. I must put you on your honor not to speak of this to anyone. I must remind you that the princess is the direct heir to the throne. Top crisis secret. Have I your pledge? Yes, sir. Very well. Oh, we must notify their majesties. Ah, well, she is a princess, sir. He seems a little irritated, but well, that does not look like a comfy couch. To be fair, he just thinks she's wasted wandering the streets, but... <gasps> but she looked so cozy. Do you think the... It's like, um, naughty. <laughs> and like, if someone would have found her sleeping in his room, even like that back then? smoked the prince's interview. Uh-oh. Was he supposed to interview her? The Hennessy has been looking for you. Uh-oh. Thanks a lot, hon. We start our days at 8.30 and we pick up our assignment. I picked mine up last night. The princess, 11.45. You've already been to the interview? All right, just got back. Well, well, well. Tell me, tell me, did she answer all the questions on the list? Oh, she did. How did Her Highness react to the idea of a European Federation? She thought it was just fine. She did? Well, she thought that there'd be two effects. Two. The uh, direct and the indirect. He knows he's BSing because he knows the princess is ill. That was a shrewd observation. By the way, what was she wearing? Oh, you mean what did she have on? Well, that's usually what it means. Did you say she was wearing gray? No, I didn't say that. Well, she usually wears gray. Oh, well, uh, it was a kind of a gray. He's in trouble. The fact that our highness was taken violently ill at three o'clock this morning and has had all her appointments for today cancelled in total. I overslept. It can happen to anybody. You might discover little news events. That might prevent you in the future. Light bulb! Donna! It's Joe Bradley. Now, listen carefully. I want you to hurry up to my place and see if there's somebody there asleep. Ah! <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Joe! Mr. Joe? Here! Bellissima! I love you. Now, listen. Here's a gun, a knife, anything. But nobody goes in and nobody goes out. What's the plan, Joe? You're still here. How much would a real interview with this dame be worth? Sorry to her highness. Good day. This day. How much would it be worth? 250? A views on clothes, of course, would be worth a lot more. Maybe a thousand dollars. The private and secret longings of a princess. Her innermost thoughts. Exclusive interview. Can't use it, huh? I didn't think you'd like it. Come here. Love angle, too, I suppose. Practically all love angles. That particular story would be worth five grand to any new service. Whoa! And to enter her sick room disguised as a thermometer. Five grand? I want you to shake on that. Five hundred says you don't come up with the story. <laughs> it's a deal. Now I'd like you to shake. <laughs> I'm gonna win that money, and with it I'm gonna buy me a one-way ticket back to New York. <laughs> There are so many uh, movies and, and like there's so many editors, newspaper writers. I kind of love it. I feel like the proportion of people that actually have that job to the proportion of that it is in movies is a little off, but I... How would you like to make some money? My God! That's the stuff. Yeah, well, I need a little investment. Just lend me a little cash. Okay, some shame, huh? Owing me two months rent and you want me to lend you money? Certamente no. Tomorrow, you'll be sorry. 
He's the Rome correspondent from New York. Oh, how you look at her differently now. Should have left her sleep in the bed. I wonder if the drugs worn off. Your Highness. Oh, I thought he was gonna not tell her that he knows. Yes, what is it? She's so pretty, I just want to take a picture. That he does too. Oh no, but not to exploit her. Why is this the most tender thing I've ever seen and wants to make me cry? I want someone to pick me up and put me to bed like that. Dear Dr. Bonacone. Oh, oh, sure, yes. Ah, uh, you're fine. Much better. Tell the good doctor everything. I dreamt and I dreamt. What did you dream? I dreamt I was asleep in the street. Young man came, tall and strong. And he was so mean to me. He was so mean to me. <laughs> it was wonderful. Hey. Good morning. Where's Dr. Bonnikov? I'm afraid I don't know anybody by that name. Isn't I talking to him just now? Afraid not. Have I had an accident? No. Quite safe for me to sit up, huh? Oh, perfect. Are these yours? D -d Did you lose something? Would you be so kind as to tell me where I am? <laughs> oh, this is what is laughingly known as my apartment. Did you bring me here by force? No, no, no quite the contrary. Have I been here all night alone? If you don't count me, yes. So I've spent the night here with you. I don't know that I'd use those words from a certain angle, yes. Well, tell her what happened. Her imagination's probably running wild. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> you may sit down. Thank you very much. You may sit down, she says. What's your name? You may call me Anya. Thank you, Anya. What time is it? Oh, about 1.30. 1.30? I must get dressed and go. I've been quite enough trouble to you as it is. You're not what I'd call trouble. I'm Her not. smile is so cute. I'll run a bath for you. <gasps> My goodness. Uh, marry me, Mr. Bradley. I'll run a bath for you, he says. <laughs> she brought the whole blanket. <laughs> He's the guy from I'm last Joe. night. Robin, can you get over here in about five minutes? Yo, I'm busy. Joe, I'm up to my ears in work. Hey, can't talk over the telephone. One word and this whole thing might blow sky high, but it's a big story. <gasps> well, that is kind of a cute little place. Look at the view. Scusi, ma scusi, fuori subito. Bella vita, eh? Comoda, eh? Lo sa, bella vita. What? Why is she mad at her? There you are. I was looking at all the people out here. It must be fun to live in a place like this. Yeah, it has its moments. I must go. I only waited to say goodbye. Goodbye. We've only just met. Pretty important date. Run off without eating. Thank you for letting me sleep in your bed. Oh, that's all right. Flashback to the... <laughs> We're really letting her leave? Bradley. Goodbye. You can't let her leave. Wait! Small world. <laughs> Can you lend me some money? Oh, yeah. I you didn't have any last night, did you? How much was it that you wanted? How much have you got? Suppose we just split this 50-50. thousand lira. Thousand? You really spare all this? About a dollar and a half. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'll arrange for it to be sent back to you. What is your address? Via Marguta, 51. Joe Bradley. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat her up. She's so adorable. Don't let her go, Joe! Double my money, eh? Oh, money tomorrow. that way. Tomorrow. And this was actually filmed there. That's what they said at the beginning. That's so cool. I'm gonna have a new channel where I just go to every place that every movie I watched is take takes place. It's fine, right? <laughs> That'll be easy. Go to Rome this week. New York the next. She buys the shoes. Why did he just buy a pumpkin? 
wonderful uh, hair you have. Oh, it's not. I thought it was a sketch artist. Higher. Higher? Here? More. Even more. Ah, no. There. <gasps> Are you sure, miss? Quite sure, thank you. She's having a crisis. Off. He's mad. Off. I feel like short hair on women wasn't a thing back then or something. The camera you have there. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, you don't mind if I just borrow it, do you? It's Bring wetter. It it's my camera. <laughs> I know. You model. Thank you. <laughs> now it's cool. Hmm? Very cool, cool, cool. Dancing on river. Remember Saint Angelo. If you come, you will be most pretty of all girls. Thank you. What is he gonna do? What's she gonna do? Oh. No money. No. I'm sorry, I really no money. <laughs> wow. Yes, Mr. Bradley. Or is it? Do you like it? Very much. So well, that was your mysterious appointment. Mr. Bradley, I have a confession to make. I ran away last night from school. From school? Trouble with the teacher? No, nothing like that. They gave me something last night to make me sleep. Why don't you take a little time for yourself? Maybe another hour. Live dangerously. Take the whole day. Did you throw away the ice cream cone? I'm a little concerned. The cone's the best part. I like to sit a sidewalk cafe and look in shop windows, walk in the rain. And I know just the guy. Why don't we do all those things together? Don't you have to work? Work now. Today is going to be a holiday. The Roman holiday. One sidewalk cafe coming right up. Oh my gosh, this is like The Bachelor. They get to spend the day in Rome and do all the cute things. They're on a one-on-one. -on -one. What would they say if they knew I'd spend the night in your room? You don't tell your folks and I won't tell mine. That was, that was, that was sexy. Must be quite a life you have in that school. Champagne for lunch. Only on special occasions. It was the... 40th anniversary of, um, of the day he got his job. What does he do? He's so sneaky. You might call it public relations. I'm scared that she's going to find out that he knew all this time and then she's going to be so sad because he's, she's going to feel like he used her. And... What do you sell? Fertilizer. Ch chemicals, you know. <sighs> They're both lying. Uh, pull up a chair, Irving. Sit down with us. Oh, so you're going to introduce me? Anya Irving. Anybody ever tell you? <laughs> you're a dead ringer. <laughs> I guess I'll be going. Oh, no, don't do anything I, like that, well, Irving. Oh, sit down. Join us. Join us. Just till Francesca gets here. Bradley's just been telling me all about his work. What do you do? I'm in the same racket as Joe. <laughs> Only I'm a... <laughs> I'm... Oh, oh, sorry, Irving. Oh, 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 look, I can take a hint. Yeah, yeah here's you your drink right now, it's... Irving. Take it easy. Sit down. That's a good fella. He's like, what are you doing? Where did you find this loony? If it wasn't for that hair, <laughs> I, I, I'd swear that... <laughs> oh, you slipped, Irving. Oh, you slipped. You almost hurt yourself. I that slipped. Time. Excuse us for a minute. A... Listen, what would you do for five grand? Five grand? Look, she doesn't know who I am or what I do. She's really... Your tin types are going to make this little epic twice as valuable. It's $1,500. It's 1250 Now you shake. Okay, now let me get 30000 we got to entertain her, don't we? Want in on this deal or don't you? Oh, this is risky. So, he's gonna sneaky take pictures? Uh, would you care for a cigarette? Yes, please. My very first. Your first cigarette. Camera? Shall we, uh, make out a little schedule? Oh, not that word, oh, please. Manny. Oh, I didn't mean, uh, work ske school schedule. I meant... Fun schedule. Fun schedule. Fun. Uh, yeah, let's go. Honey, I gotta work. I'll call you tonight. Hey, oh, Irving. He's got the fishing line girl at nine, Francesca at noon. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. My date with the president's daughter. What's this on the list? Coliseum. Okay, officially dreams ride a little Vespa around Rome. <laughs> Wrong side of the road, honey. Okay, okay. Oh! 
Hey, this is the part where they share stories. I need to know, like, so they can fall in love. Uh-oh. How'd they get out of that? American News Service? What did he mean? Say you're with the press, you can get away with anything. <laughs> Go to church to get married on a scooter. That's a hot one. Joe's a wonderful liar. <laughs> Congratulations. You don't have to look so worried. I won't hold you to it. Thank you very much. You don't have to be too grateful. <gasps> the mouth of truth. The legend is that if you're given to lying, put your hand in there, it'll be bitten off. Oh, the hard idea. Let's see you do it. Maker. Let's see you do it. Sure. Each one represents a wish fulfilled. All started during the war when there was an air raid right out here. They ran over against the wall right there for shelter, prayed for safety. Since then, it's become a sort of a shrine. Whenever their wishes are granted, they put up another one of these little plaques. I didn't know that. Make a wish. Tell the doctor. The chances of it being granted are very slight. I've heard of a wonderful place for dancing on a boat. And that'll <laughs> be the end of the fairy tale. Uh, Irving has to go now. Yes, you know, that big business development of yours that you have to attend to? Oh, the development. Yes, can't afford not to take care of that. Good luck with the big development. Thanks. Yes, yes, we ride in a carriage in Rome. I need them to have their dinner one-on-one -on -one where they share their stories. Krishna Paranoid. Oh my heavens. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My heart is literally fluttering right now. You spent the whole day doing things I've always wanted to. Why? Same the thing to do. I never heard of anybody so kind. Oh. You look completely unselfish. I, I, I looked for you a long time. I, I off, all off. Cool. Oh. Cool. Mario Delani, I'm yeah. very glad to know you. Thank you. I mind a little. I miss anything? Who's Smitty dancing with? Barbara. Irving's cute too. Oh, guys. She's gonna be so sad. Oh. What is it? Moment. <laughs> All good. Bye. She's in the dance with you, Rando. Your Highness, please. You've made a mistake, Al. It's a bad Let me go! She did it! Did he pull the beard? That is low. <gasps> Oh boy, they're in trouble. Here's my thing though. How are how is she gonna explain why all these men were after her? <gasps> oh, this escalated quickly. Oh, the police are taking the Secret Service guys away because they don't know. <laughs> all right. Fine. How are you? Oh, fine. Again. Again! This is the American Hour from Rome, continuing our program of musical selection. What? Oh, phew. Look at him smile at her. You should always wear my clothes. <gasps> Special news bulletin in English and Italian. Tonight, there is no further word from the bedside of Princess Anne. And this has given rise to rumors that her condition may be serious. La Principessa Anna. The news can wait till tomorrow. Yes. She's got the Sunday blues. She knows this is... She knows it's school tomorrow. You know that feeling, Sunday night? You'll have to go now. 
Stay in the car and drive away. Promise not to watch me go beyond the corner. Drive away and leave me as I leave you. I don't know how to say goodbye. Don't try. Look at that hug! He's holding on to her so tight. <gasps> My gosh. Oh, that was... Twenty-four hours. They can't all be blank. They are not. But what explanation am I to offer their majesties? I was indisposed. I am better. Were I not completely aware of my duty to my family and my country, I would not have come back tonight, or indeed ever again. Since I understand we have a very full schedule today, you have my permission to withdraw. That will be all, thank you. Just tell how hard it's hurting her to be back. You won't see gelato on the steps. Wants it to be her. Is it true? Did you really get it? The princess story, the exclusive. Did you get it? No, no, I didn't get it. What? But that's impossible. First, you come into my office and ask about an exclusive on the princess. Next, you disappear. Then I get the rumor from my contact at the embassy that the princess isn't sick at all and she's out of the town. He's not gonna give it. It all adds up. A deal's a deal. Where is that story? I have no story. He's a good man. Man, wait till you see these. Irving. Look at. What's the idea? <laughs> Irving, wait. <laughs> He's so mad. What am I supposed to look at? No, just a couple of Irving's dames. You, you wouldn't like him. I was wrong. That's all there is to it. There is no story. She's holding the press interview today. Maybe that's one story you can. Do. <gasps> Have we had a better offer? Irving, I don't know just how to tell you this, but how do I sit down? There is no story. Why not? I mean, not as far as I'm concerned. He loves her. Hey, the uh, pictures came out pretty well. You, how about a blow up from a negative that size, huh? Yeah. Oh. You wanna see? <laughs> That's the first cigarette, huh? Oh, yeah. oh, you wanna know the caption I had in mind there? Barber cuts in. Well, here's the one I, I figured uh, would be the key shot for the whole layout. The wall where wishes come true, hmm? Wow! Is that a shot? She's fair game, Joe. No. You must be out of your mind. Well, look, I can't prevent you from selling the pictures. Going to the interview? You going? It's an assignment. And she'll know. He's got to understand. She's not just fair game to him. He goes to the interview as the f press interviewer. He's gonna know. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Sua Altezza Reale, Her Royal Highness. Made eye contact yet? He kissed her. There it is. No, I know what's going through her head right now. He was just using me. Her Royal Highness will now answer your question. Does your Highness believe that Federation would be a possible solution to Europe's economic problems? I am in favor of any measure which would lead to closer cooperation in Europe. It is the outlook for friendship among nations. I have every faith in it. You want her dress? I have faith in relations between people. Speaking for my own press service, we believe that your highness's faith will not be unjustified. I am so glad to hear you say it. <sighs> this is like a Notting Hill moment. I will cherish my visit here in memory as long as I live. I just want her to know, and I think she does. I would now like to meet some of the ladies and gentlemen of the press. 
Le Figaro. Jacques Ferrier, ici Ferry. What are they going to do? How do you do? <gasps> Some commemorative photos of your visit to Rome. Thank you so very much. Means he's not going to sell them. <laughs> People are good. Joe Bradley, American News Service. So happy, Mr. Bradley. Kiss, make out. Stephen House of the London Exchange Telegraph. Can that really be it? They had this amazing day and then that's it? to watch her walk away again. Come around the corner. Come around the corner. Come around the corner. Please? Please? No! Okay. I have to take a moment to gather my thoughts because oh betrayed because <laughs> they're supposed to end up together in romance romantic movies i wanted her to run to him and throw her arms around him and i know she can't stop being princess but he could live at the palace like he could be like a a palace correspondent and they they could rule the kingdom together and have babies and and oh my heart is a little broken, but it was also like a very beautiful day together. One that she will never get. Oh my goodness. Okay, I adored it. They, okay, without, with really like two little kisses, they built that tension in some of those moments like, oh, like, oh my gosh. Okay, she is, so gorgeous i can't even believe um this makes me want to watch more of her stuff because you just cannot stop looking at her he was so handsome he was very sweet i just okay nope nope guys guys the true ending is that they live happily ever after and every month or so they take a day away from the palace and they wear disguises and they go eat french fries and go on merry-go-rounds and dance in the rain and get to be little holidays. Get to have little holidays with each other. And then they go home and they get to fall asleep together and live happily ever after. Okay, that's how it ended. Thank you so much for watching along with me. What a great start to February. And we'll see you soon.